Ah. Mm. Mm. So good. Okay. I'll make a video. Okay, everyone, I'll make a video. What's on my mind is what makes us sick and what makes us depressed. So what makes us do crap in life and feel sad and wrecked in life, you know, mentally and emotionally? And what makes us wrecked physically? The answer is one word, which you might end. Two words, actually. Disconnection. Mind, I'll, leave, I'll start with this quotation. When the mind is unobstructed, the result is wisdom. And when the heart is unobstructed, the result is love. So I was saying to my beautiful partner earlier, he's like, you're holy. And I'm saying, well, look, we're all holy. We're all like saintly and holy and divine. But it's all about our level of accessibility to that. And that's based on how blocked we are and how disconnected we are. So the more connected and unblocked the more we have clear channels and accessing our holiness beauty and divinity so what why don't we also accessing health and vibrancy and vitality so what gets us to be sick it's this connection this blockage so blockage of the mind and and blockage of the heart leads to sickness of health of the body body mind spirit and blockage of the blood lymph veins arteries all the stuff um, blockage of our circulation, our blood and lymph and meridian system, our energetic flow and our nervous system, that obviously leads to like paralysis, like if it's if you have a disconnected uh, spine or like um, nervous system, like cerebral. So, and that leads to heart attacks and cancer, it leads to deoxygenation, it leads to like um, parasites and worms, acidosis, it leads to uh, um, all the bad stuff. So, as I said, like healing yourself is all you got to do with unblocking yourself so you access your holiness and beauty and natural deliciousness and divinity. So, it's simple. So, we just don't know that too much on planet Earth because oh, this is the planet we're on. It's like controlled by the Illuminati and they're, they're like, they're en their end is here already, more or less, it's coming. So, um, my favorite quotation is the truth shall set you free. And right now I'm expressing the truth as far as I'm aware and this will absolutely set you free as it has in my life and um, I used to be crippled and disabled physically and I used to be crippled and disabled mentally and emotionally also so as I've learned I've healed and unblocked and cleared up my channels physically mentally emotionally energetically I am now lead a prosperous life and I'm happy and I'm fulfilled so let me talk about this connection now which is the number two the second thing and I'm really going through this extremely fast by the way so feel welcome to go back over the video because and in a few minutes I'll, to, I'll give maybe more examples to ground and to help you understand more okay so what type of disconnection makes us depressed, sad and sick, okay? Physically, mentally, emotionally, okay? So I'm gonna rattle off a few things. Look where I am. Disconnection from the tree makes us sad and sick. Show, show them my feet. Disconnection from planet Earth, the ground, the circadian rhythms of my location on planet Earth. This is why when you get jet lag, touch the earth, you'll get reconnected to the circadian rhythms of Mother Nature, Mother Earth, Gaia, and it'll help bring down and dissipate all of the electromagnetic frequency in your aura, and it'll help continuous stream of electrons that are alkalizing and harmonizing and balancing come up from Mother Earth continuously. You're also connected with the aura and the energy of the plants and the bacteria and the insects and all the soil, the mic, the, the ecology, the the system, the ecosystem, okay? So this helps you body, they say if you're depressed or if you have inflammation, this is a very anti-inflammatory to touch the earth. There's, there's books written on this, it's called grounding or being barefoot or, or being having swimming in a lake or the sea, connecting with the earth, okay? So if you do that, they say 20 minutes is extremely good for anyone with anxiety or, or fear or depression, you know, feeling bad, down in the dumps. Touch the earth for 20 minutes, okay? Put your feet on the lawn or whatever else. Go walking on the beach. So that's one example, okay? 
a huge other example of disconnect is being disconnected to your fellow human beings. This is a massive part of depression. How much hugs do you get? How much stroking or intimacy or affection do you give and receive? How much are you connected to your, your immediate blood family or to your society friends and family or to the global family? How much do you feel part of the group and how much do you feel disconnected and alone and that leads to sadness and being miserable and saying that now I get like tingles on my body partly because it's a bit cool and the wind but also a huge combination is because I felt sad before and depressed for years and anxious and I know I felt deep loneliness and it sucks I hate loneliness one of the worst feelings ever is like a sad dead hollow empty feeling thank you so there's two examples right now I'm connected to the air okay because my skin and my legs are touching the air when we're disconnected from our environment both humans and insects and plants and the air and the earth all of these is a barrier so shoes are one of the unhealthy things we've come across in modern society they've definitely caused a great deal of like less health and happiness I was keeping this oh that's okay thanks for noticing so um a barrier and disconnection of your heart of your mind obstructing the truth blocking and obstructing and stagnating the energy the truth and the connection of any kind leads to less vibrant and prosperous well-being and and uh, vibration generally basically very powerfully so like touching the air it's very important the skin breathes people don't realize that the skin breathes so clothes actually are a block and I'm not saying I, I highly advocate in getting naked when you can it feels so good but obviously just do it in the right way the right place the right time etc 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 like do it maybe privacy of your garden or your house if, if it's warm enough practically I'm not saying anything like loco crazy extreme or anything but if given the opportunity touch the Sun that's another one I want to say get naked and touch the Sun let it connect with the Sun let it touch your body it's so good for your hormonal system to get the Sun the, the health people say vitamin D but it's like that's just like a huge minimization it's actually like so many things and it's so nourishing to your soul your heart your spirit like getting sunlight it puts you in such a good mood overall it's totally good for your serotonin your 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 all of your systems and organs and endocrine gland system so the, the countries who are the darkest in Europe they get the most suicide rates so this is just another little example and backup of what I'm trying to say so one of the things that makes me happiest in life getting personal with you is um, well far from something like well one of the things is definitely barefoot walking and making love with my, my, my most loved one I love that so much that's special and beautiful that's what I wanted to say but um, walking barefoot brings me immense joy it's so good it's not just like emotional and mental joy but it actually is actually like part of the men mental and emotional joy is coming from the physical nourishment I'm getting from Mother Earth swimming naked in the Bali Ocean was one of the most highlighted experiences of my life I felt like like in the womb or the bosom of Mother Nature like touching Gaia like in her water is like so good like with no obstruction it's totally different experience when you swim with clothes on like shorts dragging out of your underwear or swimming togs so getting connected and opening up body mind spirit heart physically everything is so good so guys I'm going to move on to the next one which is another form of disconnection which is a huge thing disconnection from the truth is a huge whopper of, of a bad health thing physically mentally emotionally for example believing in lies like f believing falsehood there's a quotation from my here my heart hero peace pilgrim from the Bible I think um, overcome hatred with love overcome evil with good and overcome falsehood with truth so my favorite and most power empowering quotations that I know of my favorite are the truths that set you free because it's true on all levels and knowledge is power 
to manifest and, need, and take accurate right action. So when you believe lies and you're stuck with a blocked mind, you're going to have big problems. So like, let's say, for example, you, you think somebody hates you, you might get depressed and they don't hate you. But even if they do hate you, the spiritual truth, not just the surface level, physical, temporary truth is that they hate you. If the physical truth doesn't set you free, then the spiritual truth will overpower the, the surface level, temporary, physical truth. The spiritual truth is it doesn't matter if somebody hates you. You don't have to like, get depressed with that or sad. It doesn't matter because you're an independent, powerful, divine being. And you're independent regarding like other people's opinions in many ways. You can be a powerhouse of love, joy and compassion. If you're connected to your heart and unblocked and connected like I'm talking about, your heart is stronger than someone else being temporarily out of alignment with their higher self there. So that's the spiritual, eternal truth that's stronger than the temporary physical truth. But temporary physical lies and truth, for example, let's say I, I believe a little like story in my mind, like they're out to get me. Imagine that's not true and you believe someone's like trying to hurt you. Obviously you're gonna get like either depressed, sad or afraid and suffer. Let's say another lie, um, let's say you think um, I can't do it. Like let's say, usually we can do things we limit ourselves with, with our mind. Like I can't start a business, I can't, I can't ex run like this race, I can't go up the mountain, I can't, I can't succeed, I can't write a book, I can't, I'm not a good artist, I can't play the guitar, I can't sing. A lot of this stuff is nearly always not even true. And the spiritual truth is, even if you actually literally can't, it doesn't matter because that, that's not enough to get you depressed. You have a thousand other things to be grateful for. And often these limitations are actually gifts to expand us. For example, when I was like young, I was like an immature, competitive, like extremely fit and strong person who could do one-armed press-ups and sit-ups. One-armed press-ups, I mean, easily and one-legged squats, I could run all day. I was actually used, to, my physical body used to be generally the strongest and fittest, okay? I was very competitive and I'd been exercising for years and I just had a good body, okay? But then I, I became super like unwell and injured and like crippled and disabled and sick and felt like shit and lost my life in my early 20s. But looking back now at the age of 34, I realized this is a huge gift in my life. I'm so happy it happened because if that didn't happen, I would have been like an immature, competitive, like ego driven egotistical boy maybe still you know it brought me on an inner journey it forced me to stop and go on an inner transformation and for that i'm extremely grateful and if that didn't happen to me i i surely wouldn't be able to make this video that i'm making right now but it was hard and i suffered and i learned a lot but I'd never change that. I would never take that back. I'm grateful. And that's how you forgive and heal the past. You see the spiritual meaning and the gift and experience gratitude and thanksgiving. That's stronger than forgiveness or making peace with the past. You become more than making peace with the past. You're grateful for the past. What life gave to you, the higher spirit gave to you, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope this that made sense there okay I'm going to go on to the next form of disconnection that really 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 makes us sick sad and depressed and down and having a bad life and that is when we're disconnected from our truth and this has got to do with life management and honoring our truth for example doing what you like in life honoring yourself not living to be a people's pleaser or to be per submissive and underneath people oh tell me what to do or i won't do this because you don't want to like this you want me to be a little like you want me to be a little slave and a subservient like servant of you and to be pleasing you all the time you want me to live for you and i i like not living for yourself is dishonoring and disconnected from your truth so when you do with your heart it works out great you're not a selfish like selfish bastard <laughs> just using that word but yeah you're not a selfish person if if you're like connected to your heart but you can say no you, you become assertive you can say like you have healthy boundaries that's honoring your truth and um, you, you follow your passion you're if you're an artist or you like to sing or you like to like 
you like to watch certain television programs or certain types of music or you like to talk a certain way or you like you like running you like tennis you like you like reading books you like science fiction you like whatever you like you like to live in this place instead of that place whatever your truth is you you honor your opinion you honor your heart you honor your mind you honor your emotions you honor your past but at the same time when you learn to honor your truth then you can give to honor another person's truth and experience and past and lessons and wounds too and it can help you to be more connected from your into your heart okay so when you keep dishonoring and disconnected from your truth that's when you're not managing a life properly so management of life and balance of life is is largely related to honoring your truth so for example let's say so like like honoring my truth is i like this like i'm dressing like this is honoring my truth when you're disconnected from your heart you, you shove it in people's faces and faces you try and force them and you're disrespectful or mean to them whereas i'm not causing anyone any harm right now and this is in a location that's safe to be barefoot and it's okay i'm not in someone's like random garden or whatever so it's very 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 important to honor your truth so that's a huge one i know all of you will resonate with this because this is one of the biggest lessons on earth relationships is the biggest hardest lesson on earth generally it's challenging they're extremely dynamic they're always changing people are changing all the time we're changing all the time we have to as socrates says know ourselves or know thyself and only then can we honor our truth because if we don't know our truth how can we honor our truth so a huge an integral part of this is actually being able to understand and know ourselves and then we can also listen and help to understand and know other people to help them also and to respect them so you don't want to be too selfish and then the other side you don't want to be too abandoning yourself neglecting yourself and being a people's pleaser which is a huge woman's thing in society these days being too nice abandoning yourself neglecting yourself dishonoring yourself and mismanaging your life and your passion and your happiness to the pleasing of other people but to the complete neglect of yourself you're pleasing others but not pleasing yourself so obviously men and males do this too but it's definitely more of a female trait predominance on the earth so um, let's take a moment slowing down a little moment of silence for a second I'm just gonna see if there's anything other form of disconnection Earth, air, sun, heart, mind, truth, our truth, um, humans connecting with other humans in society and the, the global world, the global consciousness. They're the main things. Um, and when it comes to blockage and getting sick, when we eat unnatural and processed foods and un artificial foods with artificial preservatives, toxins and poisons, unnatural like household chemicals and like shampoo and toothpaste and deodorant and cosmetics and um, we're just going to get sick. We're, anything you put on your skin is absorbed into your skin. Anything you breathe is getting into your body. So it's super important. I, I recommend essential oils as na or, or um, hydrosols like which are from the essential oil industry which comes from plants, chemical free. I sell them at my shop if you're interested and in that way you support me and my loved ones and my passion to help the world and transform the world and to help people's lives also. So if you want to help support your health, what helped me get better the most also was learning how to be balanced and how to rest and how to sleep, how to take a break, how to stop, but also herbs for my adrenal glands. I'd highly recommend everyone get like herbs for your adrenal glands. So check out my links below um, in my Higher Self Herbs shop higherselfherbs.com you can see i sell herbs superfoods enzymes and essential oils currently and more coming um, and i really appreciate your support but there's high quality and um, pure independently tested herbal extracts and other things that have been tested for purity and potency good really good quality they work highly recommend them if you go to my web shop higherselfherbs.com <laughs> you'll see um, I have on the, on the top left Owen's recommended starting super kit and that has like my most recommended starting kit for almost everybody like really 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 good get the size packet that you want to get that your money can afford 
but I just want to say overall in life you're worth it okay and that's a huge like disconnecting from the truth we need to we need to believe and know we're beautiful we're lovely we're divine human beings and spirits we're worth the best we deserve the best everyone is gorgeous we're all just blocked okay so when you when you're disconnected with this truth you cannot learn to love yourself and practice self-love because you don't even think you're worth it you think you're a ho horrible the media brainwashes you thinking you need all this junk, the chemicals and the crap. The whole world is trying to sell you stuff you don't need that's unnatural and disconnects you and blocks you. Of, look at the planet, of course there's war, there's disease everywhere, there's sad relationships everywhere because you're believing lies. The media is like brainwashing everybody, thinking you're like, treat us like babies and idiots and we believe we're like babies and idiots. We believe we don't deserve what's good for us. We're not connected to nature that's harmless generally. Ah, it's a passionate subject for me. Passionate. So I just want to say, like, please check out this video here how to actually practice self love. My favorite video I've probably ever made in 1370 like, videos or something. But I have other favorites, but this is probably my number one, probably most favorite or helpful video. Kind of, it's so important how to actually practice self love. But apart from that, everybody, like, I also do one to one coaching, okay? I do one to one coaching apart from making videos, and I'd love to help you. I do health, relationship, and life coaching. I'd love to help you and work with you. I'd love, I do discounts for people to do it like weekly or monthly or every two months. It's better to do it like continuously more often and you make very strong highlights and positive breakthroughs in your life, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. This dog, Digger, knows the energy of this video from, from the, the recorder. Thank you, Izumi, for recording so much. And then me, like the, the combined efforts and the intention. Beautiful, 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 beautiful dog. Look at the size of the dog, eh? It's like a Maramute Husky or something like that mixture. So nice a dog. Never bites. It's so, com so placid and peaceful and like super good, um, super good personality and like energy, you know? Really, really gentle spirit. Loving, affectionate, like goodler. So anyone, I, I really I encourage you and invite and ask you to consider sharing. I thank you for your shares and support of my, my dream to help the world so much and people. My passion, my work, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing and commenting and liking and favoriting the video and sharing on your public media. I thank you so much and check out my playlist and befriend me on Facebook. I love to connect with people who are inspired to heal or to make a difference in the world and to be true to themselves. So please befriend me and let's become friends and work together, yeah? And um, one last thing, just briefly, the two books that I made below, um, but you don't even need them, just my videos are the better, the best, my, two, my more recent videos, they're better. So anyway, I'll see you again everyone, lots of love to you and your family and love and blessings and light. Everything good, positive to you and your family. And I wish you all the best and your family, everybody. So, I'll see you again in another video. And thanks again for um, nature for allowing us to make this video. And my blessings and our blessings. And the lovely patient recorder, Izumi. Super beautiful, smiling. Such a good energy behind the camera. Without her, this video wouldn't be. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it and I appreciate her also. So. Many blessings, everybody. <laughs> Such a nice dog, eh? Wow. Can I get you? <laughs> <laughs> oh.
sweet. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Do you want a cuddle? <laughs> Can I get you? You look super sweet. This is the beautiful, sweet recorder, everybody. My beloved. Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> That's enough now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>